students i'm your komali ma'am in this session i'm going to teach you excellent tricks to uh, you know solve first i will teach you what is verge dash formula fisher projection formula sawhurs formula newman formula how to convert wedge to fisher and uh, uh, wedge to uh, fisher one chiral carbon two chiral carbons fisher to sawhorse or sawhorse to fisher newman projection to fisher like this various interconversions i am going to teach you you know this is a topic where students feel difficulty whether you are a neat student or a j students main student or advanced student this topic plays a very important role you see these concepts in a isomerism of organic chemistry let's begin the session one by one one by one i'll teach you so many techniques i will tell you these small tips and tricks will help you to solve the questions in a faster manner let's begin the session see what is this word structure first understand the meaning of word structure okay if you observe this structure here we can see two are with the thin lines okay two bonds are with the thin lines and one bond with the dashed line and one bond with the solid line this is what this is solid this is solid line and this is dashed line and this is on the like thin lines these are thin lines by the end of this video you solve any question any question for example take this model okay take this model if you see this model i am keeping the model like this 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 one is a carbon atom this is a central black one is a carbon atom this white color what i am showing is a hydrogen hydrogen and whatever this x is there na that is a uh, yellow color ball z is a green color ball and this uh, blue color is a y what i want to tell you is i am holding these two groups like this which means this thin lines one are on the plane okay and this green one is back of the viewer back of you and back of me this blue color is a towards the viewer so what i want to tell you is you just take any model or you make you know uh, with uh, some dough uh, wheat flour you take make small dough and put you put small uh, match sticks in between and you try doing if you want otherwise simply what you can do which are there in the thin lines they are on the uh, you know uh, what to say on the plane dash line is away from the viewer away from the viewer solid lines are towards the viewer that's it towards the viewer this is about verge dash formula now let us see about the fisher projection formula what is this fisher projection formula what fisher says is this is used to represent this 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 atom this carbon is there na this carbon is surrounded by four different groups what fisher says the same structure we can also represent in the fisher form but here we will use this fish bone like you know um, uh, one cross we will use here what this cross says is this cross says that for example this model only there this model this model if you observe if you observe this white and this yellow for example a it can be anything the these two groups are back of the plane and these two are towards the viewer i mean two are toward back of the plane two are towards the viewer so simply i want to tell you which are there on the vertical line which are there on the vertical line those two groups are away from the viewer these two away from the viewer away which are there on the horizontal line which two are there on horizontal this is horizontal line okay this is vertical line vertical line means away from the viewer horizontal line means this is horizontal line towards the viewer this is towards the viewer towards the viewer for example you see my model uh, maybe you are uh, how much you are able to see this um, for example i am having my blue color ball 
blue and yellow towards you and this white and green back of the plane black back so green is back yellow uh, white is back got it that is the meaning that is the meaning understanding that is the meaning this two is towards the viewer and uh, the remaining to our back of the viewer this is the way same thing now how i am showing see it's like a fissure okay na fissure fissure got it understand everybody okay now how to convert if they have given us if they have given us one word structure like this how to convert into fissure very easy small trick i will tell you without doing anything simply you can convert whatever the structure they give in the examination okay let us see what is that these two what i told you in a way structure two thin lines will be there and one dash line one verge line uh, i mean that solid line okay this is one way of representation other ways also there but this is the way where mostly we see the questions which is there on the vertic i mean thin lines you just draw them on the vertical line vertical what are there c h o and thin line this is a thin line right c h 2 o h after that you observe this ch2 oh whatever the ch2 oh is there this is our right hand side right r i g h right hand side so when it is right hand side see this always we write down only okay this always we write down which is the right hand side you see then you see the dash line which is there with a the dash if this is there towards the right hand side the dash one you write towards the left hand side okay so i am writing this towards my left hand side done obviously what is left oh is left over any question that's it let us see how easily we will do it fatta fat you will uh, you know you pause this uh, video okay click on pause copy all these four questions and you try doing and check your answer if you get a correct answer please give like to this video okay ha huh. now check it out your answers which is there if you have any doubt still one more example you watch which is there with the thin lines you just write on the vertical line a and one more is b after that you just check where the down one right hand side na left hand side na this is right hand side if it is right hand side then the dash one you should write left hand side so dash one is d then what is left is opposite side next one check it out now thin lines always thin lines always vertical line after that here my b is towards the left hand side if it is left hand side this dash one you should write right hand side what is there if this is where you should write right hand side then obviously c you should write here easy no see how easy vertical line you take this thin lines that's it then this b is towards our right hand side then dash line will come towards the left hand side then remaining left over you should write here easy na easy okay okay and one second okay now see here this is where it is present it is a thin thin lines a b after that this b is which side students tell me b is present towards the left hand side so dash line you should write towards the right hand side and the solid whatever the left is opposite side over you will be able to convert any word structure into fissure structure got the clarity ye this is the case when only one chiral center is present for example if two chiral centers are present what do you mean by chiral center means carbon which is surrounded by four different groups so then we call them as a chiral center what is that carbon surrounded by four different groups then we call them as a chiral center now see the next one see here now i'll teach you two 
chiral center question also. Okay, give me some time. Let us see Fisher how to convert into verge. Fisher how to convert into verge. Very easy. Chemistry only very easy. See here, whatever the groups are there on the vertical line, what I told you, Fisher means take this molecule, keep the two groups away from the plane. Two is towards you. Two is towards you. Two is towards you. Two is away. Can you see? Huh. Any two. For example, take this two. Two is towards you. This blue ball and green ball is towards you. And this uh, uh, blue and green is towards you. This uh, sorry, yellow and green is towards you. This blue and white are away from you. Okay, correct. So what I am telling is, this is only fissure. This is only fissure. So whatever away, we are writing on a vertical line. So these two are away. These two are away. We write like this. I mean, these two are away. We write like this. I mean to say that, one more time I am repeating. One more time I am repeating. Simply. Okay. Again, again I will tell you. See, which are there on the vertical line. No confusion. Which are there on the vertical line. Simply you write a thin lines. Okay. So, CHO, CH2OH. Hmm. Here, no doubt. Ma'am, which is there on the vertical line, we are writing. Before also, we have done same, no? Which is there, thin lines, we have drawn in vertical line. Okay. Here, you observe CH2OH is coming in which side? Actually, CH2OH, always we take the right hand side. Okay. So, this is coming on the right hand side means that, o, that OH will come which side? Tell me. Dash line. Dash line. And that is away from opposite is hydrogen. Again, I will again I repeat this point. Which are on the vertical line, take with the thin lines. Then CH2 OH you are taking towards the right hand side. Then what you do is this is always you write right hand side, for example. Then this OH will come towards your left hand side, which is coming left hand side. Write that with the dash line. You just, whatever the points, I'm telling like this. If you want, you just pause this video uh, and write those points. Okay. First listen. After that, one more time, if you want to, uh, while you are listening, you do that. See the structures. This structure is there, right? This structure, what you want to do? This structure you want to convert into the fissure structure. How to convert is very easy. This structure is there, right? This structure rotate completely like this. Okay, completely. This is mine is locked. Okay. Can you see this structure? CH2OH is there. This is there. Okay, so I am going to rotate this entire structure like this or your book only you rotate. Easy thing is you no need to draw your book only just you rotate in such a way this CH2OH should come top. In fissure structure the rule is the most priority functional group should come always on the vertical side top. This is the most important rule in the fissure. When you are drawing, for example, CH2OH is there, COH is there. Then COH should come to the top position. In such a way, that, that is the rule. Most oxidizable carbon or most priority functional group on the top vertical top position. Fine. So here what I am going to do is, I am going to see my entire molecule by keeping my book in this manner. Okay, when I, when I keep my book like this and if I see this CH2OH will be on the top and this CH, CH2CH3 will be my right hand side. Are you understanding? So book I am completely, you know, same book I am holding and I am seeing the molecule in this view. Why I am seeing in this view? I want to see this in always in a vertical position, top position. Okay, so this CH2OH here. And CH2, CH3 comes like this. This will, this, if, if you see in that manner that CH2, CH3, simple, whatever the structure is there here, you just, you, you turn your book in such a way, this CH2, OH should be, should come vertical to you, to your face, okay? Then that CH2, CH3 will come to your right hand side. 
then once it comes to the right hand side the verge structure will come you know your left hand side you should write here and remaining group here that's it next structure very easy which is there on the, this is only little turning the book and you you have to see see here this is what vertical line you should take CHO and CH2OH aldehyde and uh, alcohol aldehyde is a priority okay so first vertical we take always like this then this is our functional group is present on the left hand side if it is present on the left hand side then the dash line we should write right hand side are you understanding hello listening clear clear this is this is CH2 CH2 CH2OH is present on the left hand side then dash line we should write on the right hand side then OH opposite side got it now see the next one try these questions try these questions COH CH3 which is there in the thin lines this CH3 is present towards uh, you know which side it is present it is present this is your converting verge into fissure these are the test yourself questions you know try this question click on pass one by one question you try if you get wrong answer again check it out CH3 is here left hand side so the dash line will come towards your right hand side and NH2 is opposite side. Now this structure, what do you do now? You turn your book in such a way, this book like this. Otherwise you see, this book is, you know, you rotate like this, your question paper, you rotate like this in such a way, this should come in a vertical to you. Okay, like this, vertical it should come. That's it, once you get this vertically, two chiral carbons are there. This CHO is up now, and this CH2OH will be down. And you can see on this carbon two groups are present on this carbon two groups are present but which group where you have to you will write if you rotate these two groups like this you can check it out this C you if you rotate like this this CH2OH where it is present your left hand side so the dash line will come your right hand side and again this H this side if you rotate it is left hand side the dash line comes here and OH you got it what I am telling you when you see any horizontal molecules like this not vertical vertical means directly you will take it if it is a horizontal you rotate your paper question paper or your book in such a way just make it stand that's it you no need to draw it again next one when it is a vertical na, no need to do anything simply Simply vertical means you just take ME and you take ME. Okay, so which when you take like this, now simply which is there right hand side, you write as it is, which is there left hand side, right, right as it is, which is there right hand side, right as it is, which is there left hand side, right as it is. Okay. You can write like this or you can flip and you can write also. Another possibility is also there. But when you when a vertical na, when a vertical is there, one second, one second. One more one more time. I'll explain this point. One more way I'll explain. Okay. One more way. When you have uh, what to say, structure like this, same way. How I drew, uh, you know, not this, before case. If methyl is on the, our, uh, uh, you know, down, it is right hand side. The one which is away from the viewer left hand side, that is one way. Or simply, when both are like you are seeing the structure with the two chiral center straight, what you can do is, the dash lines are there, na? the dash lines. Directly take the dash lines on the vertical line. This is the technique of writing. You no need without doing anything. Simply take the two dash lines on the vertical line and ME left side, BR right side. What is their left? Right left. What is their right? Right right. What is their left? BR. What is their right? That's it. Practice. Hardly four to five rules. That's it. Now see, check it out. Dash line, what is there here? 
dash lane what is there there h now which is there left hand side ch3 which is there right hand side hydrogen which is there uh, left hand side chlorine which is there right hand side ch3 you see na any difficulty at least hit like now yeah <laughs> ah, very good very good now let us see how to convert verge into fissure same you can try hundreds of models you can try hundreds of model you can you know take this questions as a test yourself what i told you try this questions what do you do this is not standing vertical position so rotate this your book you rotate this structure you draw on paper you rotate and you see this one also test yourself take test yourself take screenshot and try next class i'll tell you let's see how can we convert fissure into verge already i told you how to convert fissure into verge try this two also already i told you coh and this h to c to h5 it should come right side when it comes right side this hydrogen should be come with a dash line hmm? try this also i'll i'll tell you now let us see what is this uh, new man what is this saw horse after that i will teach you how can we convert each one right see most important concept we are entering now this structure you observe previous case there is only one chiral center correct previous case there is only one chiral center now there are two chiral centers okay i'll zoom, zoom and i'll show you hmm. if you see there are two carbons if this black balls are the two carbons what ma'am what is the difference between newman uh, fisher uh, saw horse wedge dash is just the way we see the molecule that is only the difference for example if you see the molecule if you see the if you see the molecule in in this view where is only front carbon back carbon you can't see okay F actually two carbons are there but you are seeing in this manner okay in this manner see here this actually front carbon a front carbon i'll write with a dot front carbon what is there yellow ball front carbon green ball and white ball front carbon back carbon I, i want to show you can't see the back carbon when you are seeing in this manner so i'll represent with the circle on black carbon what are there yellow green and white so as it is i'm writing here yellow here green here white do you understand do you understand this is called as an eclipsed form what is this form this is a eclipsed form what is this eclipsed fully eclipsed it is so why why both the groups both the groups are exactly coming closer like this you know these two these two this is a eclipsed form fine if you see the same structure you know in this manner side view side view then it is called as a saw horse formula which formula it is it is a saw horse formula okay in this angle you are seeing in this angle you are in this angle you are seeing then we call it as a saw horse okay na hmm. clear right see the same structure i am drawing for example same structure little you should uh, keep it down and this one up okay uh, this carbon whatever the group is there top this is yellow and down it is white and this is green now the back side what i am having back side top yellow and here we can't see right clearly ha huh. this one i'll show like this white is there white and here green model is there so this is called as the way same structure if you see in this way it is a new man if you see in this manner it is the saw horse 
saw horse. For example, if you see the same structure, same model, in such a way, this, uh, these two yellow color balls, I am keeping back of the plane. And this, this green and this white, can you see it? This green and white are towards the plane. Okay, so this is called as a what? Fissure structure. See how it becomes fissure? Ta -ta -da. See? Two yellow color on the vertical line. This green, this side, white, that side. This green, this side, this white, this side. Okay, you see, you know, see this, this is yellow, this is yellow. This green, this side, yellow, uh, white, that side. Green, this side, white, that side. That's it. This is which, this is which, which formula? This is the fissure projection formula. So, in a fissure, what I want to do in a fissure, see, when they have given a fissure like this, actually, this is a fissure. This is a fissure, which these two groups which are present are the back of the plane. Back of the plane, these two yellows, if you see, these two are the back of the plane. You, you make one model, then it will, you first time, if you are learning, make one model, it will be very easy for you. So, these two are the back of the plane, these two groups. And these two are the front of the viewer. So, how can you do is this one? two chiral carbons this and this are the back of the planes so write these two back of the planes which is coming down cohs are coming down so cooh cooh very easy these are back of the plane see these two are back of the plane i am writing down see these are down and which two are up this this white color ball and green color ball so this white color ball is my hydrogen this green color ball is oh Again, this back side white color ball is hydrogen and green color ball is OH. This is which is structure? Sawhorse. So, simple thing is whatever there on the vertical line, you always write down like this. And these two groups, how it is there? Exactly write HOH. Again, these two, how it is there? Write exactly HOH. Very easy. See the next structure. Without model directly you will do it now. What I am telling? Two COOHs which are there. Write this COH down like this. Next that vertical lines write COH like this. Then whatever the two groups are there. Write exactly OH, H. Next what two groups are there? Write exactly like this. Easy. Easy. Huh. We will go to the next one. When this is what a new man structure, when they have given new man, how to convert the new man into fissure structure. Okay, we will see that now. We will see that now. Hmm. First, we will do this question, then we will do the previous question. Always, whenever you are converting a fissure structure into the new man or new man into the fissure. So, it must be an eclipsed form. Why? Because if you take the any structure, see this structure, I am showing you. One second. Hmm. Hmm. This is what, this is our new, uh, new man. Whereas we can see only front carbon and three groups we can see. Whereas back carbon is hidden. Hidden carbon we represent with the circle. And the front carbon we will draw this. Can you see, able to see the structure? Ah, okay. Uh, we will uh, write with the front, front carbon three groups are there. Back carbon three groups are there. That is the representation. Fine. This is the same structure. You can see the same structure. This is a this is a fissure same structure fissure so if you make it stand like this the fissure so eclipsed a new man directly we have to convert into fissure nothing to do here what you should do is write the two chiral center on first carbon what is there COH is there on this carbon what two groups are there write directly OHH Back side, what two groups are there? HOH. That whatever the back side top COH you write here. Okay. This is the front carbon COH HOH. Again, next carbon HOH. That last top COH you write here. Got it? Got it? But you see here. 
when it is not a staggered eclipsed configuration when it is a staggered configuration what is the meaning of the staggered configuration whereas this uh, two groups are not very close then we call it as an uh, gauge or a staggered we will call we i will teach you in another class here what you understand is two groups are not close here only it is not coming means it is not eclipsed if it is not eclipsed then what you have to do is small change you need to do what is that small change first carbon ch3 oh h right as it is but next one you keep this group here this group here so oh you keep here h you keep here COH as it is, that's it. So what I want to tell you now, if it is a eclipsed form, directly you convert. But if it is, this is not eclipsed. Eclipsed means this hydrogen also should be here. Okay, then here what, what is our CH3OHH? Friend carbon as usual, I'm writing back carbon. This HM bringing here, this OHM bringing here. That's it, H here, OH here, you know. Next one, next one. See the front carbon, COOH and OH, H and the back carbon you see, this is an, not an eclipsed form. Eclipsed only we should do. It is not eclipsed, so OH I move that side, H I move that side. Here COOH, okay. Will you try this question? Pass it, pa pass now only. Pass this video and try this question. Come on. So what I do? COH, front carbon. As usual, you write. Back carbon, you move this group, this side, this group, this side. COH, H. And here OH. Here one more point I want to tell you. When we are drawing the fissure structure, it is not necessary that always we should draw the correct fissure structure. It is not needed. But if you want to draw the correct fissure structure, this carbon skeleton should be always on the vertical line. How to get that carbon on the vertical line? Simply we should not flip it. We have to do the switches. Double switch you have to do or even number of interchanges we have to do. Both are same. The double switch we can say or even number of interchanges. What is this even number of interchanges is this OH bring this side, this COH bring this side. This is one switch. Okay. What is this? If remaining everything is same, no difference here, no difference here. This is one switch. What I'm doing, what I want, I want the carbon skeleton should come on the vertical line. So COH here and this OH comes here. Again, one more switch we need to do, these two flipping. So if I do one switch like this, COH comes here, OH goes there. One more flipping I should do, so OH comes here, H comes here. This is the rule. If you want to get the correct fissure structure, what is the meaning of correct fissure structure? Vertical line should have the carbon chain. Mode on a priority group should be present. So in such case, if you want, you have to do in this manner. Uh, it is not necessary always to do the uh, correct fissure structure. One more point I want to tell you. For example, in this structure, no, all are same. Uh, first car COH, last also COH, no problem. For example, I am having COH down, CH2. See, so many excellent points I am telling you. Okay. Most, I know, excellent video this is. Write every point in your notebook. C CH2OH is there top and COH is there down. Then this is not in correct representation. You, this also you can do it. But in examination, they did not give this representation. Then what you have to do is you should, you should hold this COH and take the entire molecule flip. So flipping, how to do flipping? 180 degree angle you have to flip. What is the meaning of doing 180 degree angle flipping is, you, you'd hold this entire molecule if you flip 180 degree, then what happens, you know, 
this COH bottom COH comes top and top CH2OH comes here. Why I am doing so? Because carboxylic acid is a priority functional group. I want it on the top. Then what, what it will happen is left side group comes to right side, right side group comes to left side. That's it. So if I do like this, then left side group comes to here where this OH is there, left side. So it comes to the right side. Uh, sorry, this is the right side comes to left side, left side comes to right side. Again, right side comes to left side, then left side comes to right side. Both are identical. Now these two are identical, identical. Clear? Got it? Understand everybody. I hope you like this video. In the next video, I will give you the solution to the test yourself questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, you all learned how to convert uh, new man into sawhorse, uh, you know, uh, or uh, sawhorse into new man, uh, verge into fissure, fissure into verge, any structure, any structure. Let us see one, one more thing here. This is a sawhorse, right? How can you convert into fissure? Can you tell me? How can you convert into fissure? Most important topic. Let me complete this. Then we, I will leave you. See, this is COOH. You observe this is down and this is top. So both the groups are in opposite direction. So this is a front is up, bottom one is down. Bottom one is fallen here. Bottom one is down. Okay. So here, if the if these two if these two groups are down only, downside only, then it is a eclipsed form. See here, this is this CO which is down. This BR is top. These two are not eclipsed form. So you can't directly convert into fissure. Okay, so what you have to do is you should rotate it. So rotating, doing all this is difficult for you, right? So simply what you can do is whatever there on the vertical line, you just take as it is. This friend, this carbon take as it is. And this which is there, this group, you write right hand side, right hand side one, you write left hand side, left hand side one, you have. See this video, in this many topics are, I covered. How many topics? Fisher, Verge, Newman. It is a combination, all I am doing in one shot. So what is your responsibility? You have to, whatever I am saying, you should write in the form of notes every point and you have to practice, okay? See this now. BR is in down and COH is on top. Okay, that form is not a eclipsed form. It is a staggered form. Both the groups are opposite side. Then what you have to do is this is this is down and this is top. So this is a staggered conformation. How to convert staggered? First you should convert into eclipsed. Very easy. Right as it is what is there on this skeleton. This skeleton you write as it is. Then the two groups which are present front carbon and the back carbon, how can you do is, you know, this ME and H right as, as it is. But the next one, you, you just, you know, you have to rotate. Now when you are rotating, this left side one comes right side, right side one comes left side. So you will get ME this side, you will get hydrogen this side. That's it. Everybody clear? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this video is helpful for you, please hit on a like. So much efforts I kept for this video to bring a lots of content, you know, in uh, together, all together. Uh, thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye, love you.